A polysulfide impression is poured, but the cast shows poor details. What should be done to achieve better surface details on the cast? So we are talking about elastomeric impression materials, specifically polysulfide. There are four of them. Polysulfide, A silicon, C silicon, and then there is polyether. Of these materials, the first three are hydrophobic in nature, inherently. Okay. However, there are few modifications of A silicon which are now available. These are hydrophilic versions of the same material, hydrophilized A silicon. But in general, these are hydrophobic. Only polyether is hydrophilic. Now, what does hydrophobicity and hydrophilicity mean? So, the concept of contact angle comes into play also known as wetting that means if you have a surface known as the other end and a molecule of liquid over it then the angle formed by this together is the contact angle so at the surface over here you draw a tangent this tangent gives you the contact angle of the liquid to the other end highest wetting occurs at 0 degrees of contact angle and no wetting occurs at 180 degrees. So this contact angle is important in understanding the wetting of one material over the other. Now how is it important in impression materials? So impression materials have to be poured in gypsum. For example, dye, stone or whatever. It can be epoxy resins also but we will talk about gypsum because that is the most commonly used. So if the impression material is not easily wet by this gypsum then the cast will not be very accurate. Okay, There will be some voids or surface irregularities or any form of deformity may occur over the cast. So if the impression material is hydrophobic the wetting will be less and the cast will be poor. If it is hydrophilic vice versa will happen. To convert the hydrophobicity into little hydrophilicity that means in order to reduce the hydrophobicity or reduce the contact angle you can use something called as a surfactant or a debubbleizer on the impression surface okay so if you spray this on the impression surface then the wetting is improved between the uh, impression material and the gypsum product. So this is actually a non-ionic kind of a surfactant which can be added to the impression material itself or it can be sprayed over the impression material before pouring it with gypsum. So this will increase the affinity of that surface for gypsum. Now let's have a look at the options. So what should be done to achieve better surface details on the cast? Adding surfactant to gypsum makes no sense. You have to add it to the impression material. Okay, Mixing surfactant to impression material, yes. Spraying water to gypsum, no, that is just going to change the water powder ratio. And spraying water plus mixing surfactant to gypsum, no. We are not going to change the properties of gypsum. Gypsum is the liquid. We can minimize the contact angle on the other end. So we are going to mix surfactant to impression material, option number 2.